Good afternoon, Scarview 118. I've got the Esteban Carreras Unforgiven Toro Grande. Six inch, 52 ring gauge, Nicaraguan made. Kind of an interesting way they made it. They got uh, leftover Florida Cana, 18 year old rum barrels, aged it for two years in that. And they specifically said, you know, we know that there's not a lot of rum flavor left in that. We're not really trying to give it a rum taste. We're just trying to use the barrels for it. Uh, I smoked this one today because I just smoked one that was quite bad and I wanted a knockout cigar and I pay, I think I paid $11 for this. So I expect really good quality out of it. Did I get it? Would I buy it again? Uh, no and no, uh, frankly, and here's why. So when I first start smoking it, you get some light chocolate cream. I got a little bit of peppermint in there. And when I say light chocolate, I don't mean milk chocolate. I mean like light as in I can barely taste it. So as I continue to smoke and smoke and smoke, I'm looking for flavor. I'm looking for flavor. I'm on famoussmoke.com looking at the cigar wheel, trying to say, ooh, does it taste like this or this or this? No. Ah. Nothing going on. And usually when that happens, I think, oh man, awful. I'm an awful cigar taster. I can't taste anything. I'm bad at this. Uh, so I went on fame or I went on um, Half Wheel and I want to quote some of what their super expert said. Part of me feels like I'm smoking a cigar in anticipation of some big development of length, strength and flavor, yet it's not to be found. Uh, you know, they go on to say, you know, as I snub this out, I wonder if I've missed what the cigar has to offer. I never felt much in the ways of flavor or a profile, you know, at least not until the very end. So other people, and it's a great article, really long, feel free to Google it, but he never got anything either. He got pretty much nothing out of it. He said, you know, from a technical standpoint, it's drawing well, and it does. It's well made, and it is. It's beautiful looking, yes, but there's no, there's no flavor. There's nothing going on in the cigar, and especially for such kind of a dark, heavy cigar. That's, uh, it's pretty surprising. The other thing that's really surprised me about this cigar is it is burned incredibly quickly. Um, I'm smoking it a little bit faster than I normally would, but I mean, I went through the first half of this six inch cigar in like eight minutes. I mean, it was like, where did the cigar go? So uh, kind, of, kind of odd, and I smoke faster than most people, but still, this would normally still take me, you know, 40 minutes or an hour. So, you know, based off that, would I buy it? No. It's got some flavor to it, but I can't justify a cigar for $11 that I can't even really get any good taste out of. Uh, and it's not even really burning that evenly. I've got a big spike on the end of it. So I, I've got to say, this has been kind of a failure. It's just not that good. Again, phenomenal draw. Beautifully made. But the flavor just isn't there. You know, maybe it was something with aging it for two years in those rum barrels that, you know, zapped some of the flavor out of it. Who knows? Maybe it all leached out into the wood, but not great. The other bone that I have to pick with it is this. When I pick up a cigar and I start smoking, what do I want to do? I want to smoke, right? I want to cut the end off and I want to start smoking. It's got this cedar wrapper that comes around it, held on by this band, held on by this band. And it took me, you know, a good amount of time to even undo that. Cigar makers, stop, stop doing that. Stop putting cedar bands around it. This is easy to take off because by the time I get to it, the glue is loosened up and I can easily come in, grab it and pull it off, right? Boom, done. When the cigar is cold, you can't do that. So I'm having to fumble around at the foot of the cigar, fumble around and, and try to you know, do that. And it can damage the cigar. So overall, if this was a $5 cigar, buy rating. $6, maybe. $7, no. But $11, absolutely not. No way. For $11, I can get some really good stuff. Some really good stuff. And this is not really good stuff. This is um, this is a very smokable cigar that has a decent, decent flavor when you can find it. And for me, it's just not there. So that is Cigar Review 119 in the Esteban Carreras Unforgiven Toro Grande with a not by rating.